Hi, this is Szilard and I'm uh, recording this video for you so that you can present your live classes and uh, your workshops at home and with very minimal technical complications. Okay, so this, is, this video is for you if you are a trainer, if you are a personal fitness coach, if you are a, a yoga teacher uh, or if you're holding any kinds of uh, workshops where you have students and now you cannot really meet them in person and now you, you, you can make um, online classes and connect with your students online. We have this coronavirus lockdown and uh, my friends have asked me if, if I can show them a way, where, a simple way, so they can connect with their students and they can uh, create these online uh, webinars, these online workshops and hold their trainings, hold their uh, workshops online. So uh, I've developed this very simple method. Uh, we, we're not going to use a website. We're not going to use any, any fancy stuff. All you're going to need is your laptop or your smartphone. And we're going to use only free tools and we are actually going to use uh, Facebook groups. Uh, this is the first uh, part and this in this video I'm gonna cover the how you can how you can create a group for only for your students not for the general public so maybe you have people who are paying you you have have uh, students who are paying and you want to create these presentations these uh, uh, live trainings only for them okay and uh, also I'm gonna show you how inside uh, this Facebook group you can have a live video and also how you can uh, create a couple of video lessons and organize them into separate units so it's it's gonna this this entire system is gonna work uh, just like uh, having your very own uh, let's say online online website online uh, course website okay but without the complications without the technical stuff okay so let's begin so the first step is to go to your uh, Facebook profile okay log into your Facebook you're probably logged in and just create a new group and you can find that here go down to explore and click on groups now click on create group okay and now you just give your group a name. Let's say uh, test test students. Okay, you can add some people here. You're gonna be able to invite and add other people uh, to your group later on. Okay. Now privacy. Select privacy. So for for this purpose. Now if you have people who are if you don't want to show these videos and these lessons to the to the whole world just you want just want to show it to a specific uh, set of people that you accept in the group then you want to make this private and this is how you will probably be using this group okay and the next option is uh, is asking you should you hide the group uh, click on visible because you want to be you want to give people the opportunity to search for your group and to request access to it. Okay, and you can also click this pin to shortcut shortcuts so you can easily find your own group. Okay, now click on create. And now you have your group ready. So uh, you probably already know the basics of Facebook groups, but uh, if it's new to you, I'm going to show you how uh, you can make a live video on Facebook and you can do this with your phone or with your laptop and you just need to click on live video. So click on live video here. Now you need to, of course, uh, announce that you're going to do a live video. Uh, and and you, uh, you can create an event and so on, on on that specific Facebook group and when it when you want to start the live video you just go here and then you make sure that it's shared only in the group you don't want to share it probably on other 
other places only to the people who are in your group share in group and then you select which group and you make sure that it's in in this new group that you have created you're gonna need to add a live video title so let's say uh, workout number one okay and so on yeah description and text and so on now uh, when you're ready you're gonna be able to click this button that says go live but I cannot push that button right now because I'm recording my camera my webcam with another software so it's not letting me uh, push the go live button okay so that's how you go live on that specific Facebook group and this way your students will be able to see you they, be, they will be able to ask you questions and only those people will be seeing your uh, live video that are your students that are paying you for the lessons now let's go back I'm gonna show you also uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple of interesting options first of all when you want to invite people you just go here click on more and click on invite members and uh, you can you can add the name of that person or just uh, the email address you can easily just find people who are already your friends this way and add them to your group Boom. close this one next so you can make events here and I highly recommend that first you create an event for your live presentation so that people know in advance that you're gonna be doing a live presentation so you create an event here I'm not gonna go into details of how you should create an event you add there a picture you set up the time uh, and so on okay now there's something that I, I want to show you uh, if you want to have your your videos categorized in let's say in a catalog okay let me show you an example so for example here I have a here I have a, a special it, this is a group uh, where where I teach people how to create these animated explainer videos and in here because you can imagine I have around uh, 30 videos and over 30 videos where I teach them each uh, each step in this process and if I would just upload all of the videos into the group people would not know what video to watch first and what video to watch second so for example if you're let's say uh, doing uh, this week you're doing a, a yoga class on uh, on the basics and then you do a yoga class on I don't know more advanced stuff then you want people to easily understand that they should watch the first video first and the second one second and uh, for that Facebook has an option called units and this is how it looks when you have this enabled I will show you how to enable that then you can have your very own I'd call it university right you can have it, it's gonna function just like a membership website but without having to create one okay so for example you can see I have here uh, different modules so unit number one is called introduction and then we have module number one module number two three four and so on and each of these modules have different videos in them and they are numbered and you can always change the order and so on so you want to make sure that your your, your students can easily follow uh, your lessons okay these are for the pre-recorded lessons so here's a cool trick that I that you can do if you have this so you can always see how many people have seen your lesson okay so for example this is a video okay welcome so this this is how people would see your lessons also and uh, you see that you can see here seen by and you will see how many people have watched your lesson 
and then you can your students can click on done and that means that they have finished that particular video and then they can move on to the next one okay so this is what's called units now if you're searching for this you're not gonna find it I have to, you have to enable this option I'm gonna show you how to do that okay now let's go back to our new group that we have created okay and now I'm gonna create here let's go back to discussions and uh, what I'm gonna do now is click on more and then click on uh, the settings click on edit group settings again so edit group settings you can add some description here and what's really important is this one social learning unit okay you need to add this one so you add this one bam like it and now you have units so this the units part is where people will go to to watch the pre-recorded videos and the, the lessons that you teach them okay so for example now we're gonna create a unit called intro okay maybe you have an introduction maybe you have three videos that are talking about basics or an introduction thing okay and now you can add here multiple videos just click uh, let me show you again so we have the unit and then you can click on add media and I'm just gonna add these hands here because I have these pictures but you can upload your own images here or your own videos also I'm just using images because uh, or let's say let's one Okay. I'm using images because they are uh, they upload faster. Let's add another one. Okay, uh, less less than two. Yeah, and this is how it looks now. So we have an intro section and then we have lesson one and lesson two and 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 here what you can do is um, edit units and you can just move them around so lesson one should be at the top okay and I click save so now you have your very own uh, membership website without having to create one okay and I'm gonna create another unit let's say advanced advanced topics okay so you can see that in our intro session we have one lesson two lessons we have two lessons and in our advanced topics we don't have any so you can add more on to this so basically uh, this is when you fill it out this is how it will look um, you will have different lessons and and you're gonna have your own uh, membership website and your students will be able to watch your pre-recorded videos and in this group you're gonna be able to easily make um, live uh, video calls with them I mean live uh, Facebook live calls and live trainings okay so that's it uh, this is this is the situation we got to do our work from home now we cannot meet in person because it's, it's this coronavirus outbreak so yeah that's that's how we adapt and I hope this video is gonna be useful for you um, if you have if you will need in the future a, a, a method where you can also see your students then there's also ways for that but this one is the simple one if you need more help just write write in the comment to this video okay so thanks for watching and i hope this helps bye